Hi, I'm Allie. You may remember me as Baba Sheep from Mother Goose Club. But I'm embarking on a new adventure with my friend, Alfie. Join us as we explore the fascinating animal kingdom. Wild, wild, wild. It's Wild Wild Wow! Hi, Alfie. What are you doing with those bats? My uncle said there were bats hanging in a tree outside his place. And I'm just trying to work out what sort of bat it was. Was it a ping pong bat or a baseball bat? No, Alfie. Those sort of bats don't hang in trees. Right. I know. <laughs> then it must have been a cricket bat. <laughs> Not that either. It would have been an animal bat. An animal bat? What sort of balls do you hit with an animal bat? You don't hit any balls with them. They're a living creature. Really? I think we need to show Alfie what these animal bats are, don't you? Come on, let's go visit the Creature Scope. All right, Alfie, time to take a look at some real live bats. Okie dokie. What do you see, Alfie? I see these moving sorts of blocks hanging in a tree. Those aren't blobs, they're bats. Seriously? Yes, let's take a closer look at one. Wow, so that's what they look like. Bats are amazing. There are many types of bats and they all have sharp claws and wings like this one. And do they all hang upside down? That's how they sleep. And see its face? It looks a bit like a fox's face. So other names for this kind of bat are fruit bats or flying fox. Does that mean bats can fly then? They sure can. They come out at night and search for insects to eat. And they fly really fast, as fast as a speeding car. Wow, wow, wow. As well as trees, bats also like to rest in places like caves during the day. Anywhere where it's nice and dark, that makes them feel safe. Do bats attack humans? No, in fact, we need bats. Bats around the world eat millions of insects every night, which helps protect us from the diseases that insects carry. They also spread the seeds of plants like mangoes and bananas and avocados, which we humans like to eat. Wow, bats are really useful animals then. But it must be hard flying around so fast at night. Bats are very clever. Most use sound to find their way in the dark. Oh. It's called echolocation. Echolocation. That's a big word. Well, what's it mean? The best way to find that out is by playing a really cool game. <gasps> Come on, everyone. Time to hop aboard the Zippy Zoomer. <laughs> Ready, everybody? Let's wow, wow, wow! Hey there, kids, come gather around. Come meet the animals, adventures abound. Learning, exploring, let's seize the day. Come on, let's play! Yay! Hills to jungles and seas, up in the sky to the trees. Yeah, it's wild, wild. So teach us about echolocation, Ali. It sounds very difficult. No, Alfie, it's actually quite easy. All we'll need are some scissors, yarn, and a metal slinky. And what do we do with them? Well, first, we're gonna cut two pieces of yarn to tie to our slinky. About probably this long. Hmm. There's one piece and two pieces. I'm gonna tie one onto this side of our slinky and one to the other side. Hmm. Ready to try, Alfie? Sure. All right, so now we'll need our slinky. We'll wrap the string around our fingers on both sides. Drop the slinky down. Put it up to our ears. Oh. Wow. Oh. You have to hear this, Alfie. Oh, wow. Do you want to try? Yeah. Give it a little bounce. <gasps> so as the slinky bounces, sound waves travel up through the yarn, just like how bats send out sound waves that bounce and echo around their location so they can tell where things are. 
That's how echolocation works. And that's what bats do at night, right? As they fly, they don't use their eyes so much. Instead, they use echolocation, and the sound tells them how far away things are. Spot on, Alfie. It's a wild, wild, woo-ha! Wild, wild, wow! It's the night. The owls are taking flight. Can you spot the owl? It has big eyes and fluffy feathers. Oh, where is the owl? Hello, moon. It's the night. Come find our nocturnal friends tonight. The owl, the bat, and the fox, too. Oh, where could they be under the moon? Oh, where are they? It's the night. The bats no longer hide. Can you spot the bat? It has big wings. It's upside down. Oh, where is the bat? Hello, moon. It's the night. Come find our nocturnal friends tonight. The owl, the bat, and the fox, too. Oh, where could they be under the moon? It's time to guess which animal I am. I'm a small animal with four little feet and a small face with a little pointy nose. I'm famous for having thousands of sharp spikes in my back called quails. During the night, I like to roam about looking for things like frogs and snails to eat. And during the day, I tuck myself into a ball to go to sleep. Have you guessed which animal I am? Did you guess hedgehog? Then you got it right. Thanks for joining us today, guys. We hope you've had a great time. But it's time for us to say goodbye. And don't forget that we always say, It's Wild Wild Wow! It's Wild Wild Wow!